Alright, uh, this is Ignite Music Magazine, and we are with Dan from Between the Barriers and Me, and we're here to interview him in Jacksonville at uh, Freebird Live down at the beach. And how's everything going so far today? It's going today? well. Yeah. It's going well. How's the tour going? It's good. It was fourth or fifth day into it, and yeah. uh, we're playing pretty well. We're gelling, and uh, uh, the record came out yesterday, so that's fun. We're playing some new stuff, so it's awesome. Yeah. Um Um, do you just like the concept album? Yeah, it's a fun format to write in. It's like every small detail added up, uh, you know, it makes a bigger thing and everything's connected, the artwork, the lyrics, the music, uh, the merchandise, the light show, the, the video, like it's awesome. Like we, we get it all to tie in to kind of like a, a bigger thing. So that's much more fun than just writing a, a collection of songs. Yeah. Try to find a way to yeah. piece them together. And this new one is called uh, Poma Ecliptic. Yep. And it's basically about someone, some uh, dude in a, a coma. Mm -hmm. Can you elaborate on that a little yeah, bit? Yeah, he's in a self-induced coma and he's traversing these kind of uh, weird worlds that are, you know, in the depths of his mind, I guess. And you know, the story's kind of about him questioning his reality, you know, throughout it. Ending miserably, <laughs> you know. Nice big dramatic ending. It's fun. How, now, how did you, did you go into uh, writing the album, knowing that that's what the theme no, was going to be? No, Tommy, our singer, uh, was writing it um, after we were probably about three or four songs in. He had the concept, he pitched it to us, and we gave it the thumbs up, and then uh, he kind of, uh, you know, wrote it from there. Um. So, like you said, you're, you're just now starting out on the tour. Um, is this going to be a long tour? Is yeah, it a short six, one for six you? Weeks. Or six, six weeks. Six weeks, yeah. So, yeah, we <clears> cover <throat> the full country and some of Canada. Yeah. <clears throat> you do uh, a lot of uh, the festivals too? or? We did Bonnaroo this summer and uh, we played a festival in England in May. It was a lot of fun. Yeah. <clears throat> What do you what, what do you prefer, the smaller venues, oh, or the yeah. bigger festivals? Or? Not festivals. I mean, we got lucky that the two that we did this summer were really good. But you know, for us, uh, I mean, Bonnaroo is pretty big. Yeah, it was, it was a blast. You know, we got to play an hour there, so we got to play pretty much a full set, and the crowd was really receptive. Um, that that festival is very diverse, so we fit in well there. You know. More metal festivals kind of feel weird to us, so uh, that, you know, the, the diverse thing worked out really well. Um. Do you like the kind of the smaller venues? Yeah. Um, so in between the tour, uh, in between tours, I mean, what do you guys usually do? Well, I'm I mean, usually writing. I, I never really stop. I have a couple other groups that I do, and um, you know, for me, I just love being creative. That's the thing that's the most fun about this whole, you know, being a musician. The thing that we do, um, playing live is is fun. Um, during a tour cycle, you will get sick of playing the songs, and uh, that makes you excited to write new stuff. But. Uh, yeah, I do that. You know, watching baseball before before this tour a lot, and uh, you know, just just relaxing, really. You know, just trying to get ready to be gone for the next year and a half or two. So. Yeah, is that how long it's gonna be? A year and a half. Mm -hmm. Usually on on each album cycle we tour for that album for about a year and a half or two. Yeah. You got a year up too, or? Yeah, we'll be there in September. September. Yeah. How are the crowds? They are compared to the U.S. No, oh, it's okay. Um, Is there any you know, we, we kind of big got difference? A, we got a little bit of a late start over there, and so we've, we've been playing catch up for the last seven or eight years, and uh, you know, it, it it's it gets better, but you know, it's just a different thing. But the, in the big cities, it's great. Yeah. yeah. Have you done any of the festivals over there? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Pretty much every other year. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Um, Collaborate. Do you collaborate a lot with any other bands? Have you done any collaborations? With other bands? Yeah. No. No. Not into doing <laughs> collaborations or anything? You no, say? yeah, we, uh, I mean, you know, I, I have I have other bands that I do. Yeah. Um, but, you know, 
between the bear and me, it's just the five of us, yeah. you know. Yeah. You guys click pretty well then? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. Cool. It's been uh, 15 years or whatever, we've had this lineup <laughs> for 10 years. And yeah. Like eight albums or something, so yeah. Um, we've done a lot, of, a lot in that time. Yeah. So, uh, what basically ignites you to keep doing what you're doing? And, and uh, it's, I, I don't know what else uh, I would I, what I would be doing. I don't, I, you know, I can't imagine a living without writing or playing music. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's just just this crazy inherent part of my DNA. It's that, in your uh, blood. <laughs> yeah, it's just it's yeah, it's what I'm most excited about. Yeah. Life. You don't even know what you would do if you weren't in, into music? I've been in bands since I was 12 years old and uh, I've been playing music since I was 9 or 10. So it's, uh, it's all I've known for a really long time. Cool. I love it. Um, so what could people expect tonight? Uh, tonight we're going to play just under an hour and a half of music. You know, spanning, spanning from the last 10 years or so of our career, we go as far back as the Alaska record, which came out in 2005. And, uh, you know, we're going to play three new songs, and, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It's our first time in Jacksonville Beach. We've played Jacksonville, you know, quite a few times. It's always good. And, uh, yeah, it's our last Florida show. We've been here for four days. Four days. Which is... That, that, that's like a that's a lot for an open tour. We usually hit you know Orlando, Tampa, or Fort Lauderdale. Yeah, and, uh, that's it's fun. It's fun to get to play. Uh, you know we're in Tallahassee for the first.